Hello, Did you look at this beautiful day down in uh, Sussex with Mark again, who's just over there doing his thing. Um, yeah, been a little overnighter, quite a relaxed one, but uh, I've bought something special to uh, cook, so really looking forward to that. And uh, because of that, the first thing I've got to do is the wood prep, not setting up camp. Got no rain or anything coming, so there's uh, no worries of that. I'm going to do some wood prep and get the food going before anything else because it's going to take a few hours. Gonna use some fat wood to get this going today. Shouldn't need too much with everything being so dry. Very, very hot. Pretty quick, didn't it? <laughs> Tiny little bit of fat wood.
Well here she is, <laughs> I've got a suckling pig with me today. I told Mark that we're having a pork surprise, <laughs> I didn't say exactly what it was. Should have seen his face when I pulled it out. <laughs> so I've got it on a spit here um, with a square end so that I can you know, turn it on all four sides without it slipping. I've split the entire inside of the, um, of the green wood and put these pegs through as well just to stop it spinning on there. I'll probably have to take off just the ends of the legs there because they'll just um, burn and fall off anyway. Um, but yeah, I'll oil it down and um, put some spices on it. Right, so I'm going to just do the whole thing in oil first. Just all the spices have something to adhere to. Hopefully we get some nice crackling on the skin. And here we go, just going to mix, like a barbecue mix really, onion, garlic, cumin, paprika, chipotle, salt, pepper. Get it all in the cavity as well. Don't forget behind the ears. <laughs> Here we go, all spiced up and ready. What do you reckon? I'm looking forward to eating it. <laughs> the suckling pig. Well, it's time to toast the pig. We haven't named the pig, have we? No, Percy. All right, Percy pig. Percy pig. <laughs> Cheers, Percy. Thanks for feeding us, Percy. Well, Mark already wants to rename the pig to Pepper. <laughs> Pepper pig. As long as it tastes good, I don't care. <laughs> I'm expecting it to take maybe four hours, something like that. We'll see. It depends on how we keep the fire going and everything. Still need to get more firewood. Got like um, pretty much a hole ash tree there. There's a lot of um, ash dieback in this woodland. Um, yeah, so have a beer, sit down because we've been busy for about three hours, set up the tents, get some more firewood. <laughs> Bless you. Excuse me, <laughs> sorry. Oh. And a few other bits and bobs to do to go with dinner. I'm starving. I could literally eat a whole pig right now. <laughs> Well, I knew it'd be a while for dinner, so I just grabbed one of these MREs. Cheese tortellini in tomato sauce and a toaster pastry. I thought I may as well use the uh, pouch as well. So just stuff this inside. couple of years old this so hopefully the element will heat up all right. There we go. Teenagers drink it. Can't do a strong bone, mate. Drink that white light. White light, did <laughs> Do you remember 2020? It was a fortified wine. Vaguely, I From remember. The glass the bottles. Um, they had like melon flavour and all sorts. Was it also blue as well? Oh, yeah, they had loads. The blue one, yeah. yeah. they had all weird colours. It was like pre Alcapops. That's what you'd get, either cider or like 2020 fortified wine. Alright, should be done now. Oh god, that's hot. <laughs> Ooh. Give it a go.
Mm. That'll fill a hole. Bit of energy for firewood prep. <laughs> Could do with salt. Right, this is going to be for basting the pig. There's some apple juice here, just in a little carton. Some butter and some of that spice. Just going to put this by the fire. Just keep it melty and uh, do some basting. Here we are all set up, Trekology mat like last time, that inflatable pillow I've been trying out. Got my proper summer sleeping bag now because the other day when I was out I basically didn't even get in my sleeping bag. <laughs> so yeah, just something to cosy up to. Buttery goodness. Look at them buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well deserved break for us. <laughs> oh, nice cuppa. Watch this pig roast away. I've only got four logs left, so I'm gonna have to procure some more firewood soon yeah. for the evening. More chopping. And uh, get a couple of other bits on the go for dinner as well. So you can't just have a hog roast on its own. I'm just wondering what else you're gonna <laughs> pull out of that pool box. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> I don't know why we're so close to the fire. <laughs> Boiling. I'm not sure what's more done, me or that pig. <laughs> you look more like the pig before it went off, <laughs> before it got the spiced. I'm not that white. <laughs>
Gonna make a loaf of bread to go with our hog roast. We can also do some uh, apple sauce as well, but uh, this needs to start proofing. So I've just warmed up some water here, which I think is the right amount, about the right amount. And then here I've got the yeast and flour and salt and sugar. And I just need to add in a little bit of butter actually. Yeah, so about that will do. A tablespoon, oh, I'll put in a little bit more. Go indulgent. Okay, I'm just going to try and do most of the mixing in the bag here. Less mess. And then we'll just uh, knead it on the board here. All right, so I'm just going to knead this for a bit now before putting it in the Dutch oven to rest for a while. Get that proofing. We should have a nice loaf to cook. And it should be ready just a bit before dinner. And I can do the apple soup sauce in the Dutch oven as well. All right, well, that's all needed. I've just lined this with some parchment paper just to make life easier. I'm just going to put this near the fire just to warm it and proof it. See how this is going. Perfect. Just gonna slice the top and stick it on the heat. Just thought I'd take a second to show you Mark's setup. He's got the One Tigress hammock, same as the one I've been using, and a DD 3x3. All set up nicely in a diamond configuration there. Tarp up, even though I don't think we're going to need it tonight. <laughs> I'm personally going to leave the hood off the tent and both doors open tonight, get that airflow going through it, because it's going to be baking. Well, here's the loaf. I think it's okay. Got it just as it was about to catch on the top. But that should do the job. Oh, I've just chopped some apples, some Granny Smiths, into the Dutch oven. I'm going to add some brown sugar. That should about do. And a little bit of water. And I think I've still got some butter. And a bit of butter. Well, our hog is nearly ready, so I'm going to start taking off some slices of bread. Which mm, looks alright. We shall go to the hog roast.
doing a bad job this knife actually. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Some nice thick slices. Door wedges. Mm-hmm. Booyah. Alright, I think I'm just gonna dig in. <laughs> Just get chunks of meat for us to uh, put in our sandwiches. Whoa. Looks good. Might get a knife. This end might even be easier. Oh, it's too fing hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks good. It's fucking bacon. Mm. Oh, good. Use a combination of the Some of this uh, very smoky pork in the sandwich, and some nice apple sauce. Oh, yeah! Uh, a little bit more. <laughs> I'm on sandwich number two. You're gearing up for sandwich number two, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm gearing up for sandwich number two. <laughs> this is good. Just letting this first one settle for a few minutes and then I'll. Yeah. Oh, so good. It's quite smoky as well, isn't it? Mmm. Mmm. It's been over that fire for what? Five hours? Something like that. Mm. A lot of work, but it's worth it. Mm. It's tasty. Got to try these things. It's a pepper. It's a pepper pig. <laughs> when do I still look at it? When is all the permission? I filled my cow while I'm ready for a shot. Did it? Uh, I got hit on the speaker. It's a bit far to flew over here. Mm. It does down my way all the time. Doing them day trips. Here we go. Now that 
that's a fire. Now that's a campfire. Right? <laughs> the bonfire. Yes. Bonfire and a bomber. Did they know that? What a lovely relaxing evening has been had by all. Been uh, sat by the fire chatting away for some time and uh, letting us digest that pig in the pomoli now. All cosy and uh, very ready for sleep. So, uh, night Mark. Night Anthony. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the morning. Morgan. Good to Morgan. <sighs> I made fire. You did make fire. White man made fire. With breakfast. <laughs> Where did you sleep? Bloody rubbish. <laughs> <coughs> I, was, I was nice and warm for the first few hours I was in bed. And then like half three, four o'clock this morning I woke up cold. I knew I should have put an under blanket on. Uh, it wasn't too bad. I just had to do my sleeping bag up halfway through the night. <sighs> yeah, I got a little bit cold, but <laughs> Ooh. Had the uh, tip off the tent and the doors wide open, so it's nice and open and airy. I yeah, quite like that tent. Mm. Definitely a one manner, but yeah, plenty of room for one man. Be good to get the stove in it eventually. And I still like the fact that Molly don't feel the need to put their name massive on the side of it. <laughs> yeah. It's like only little. It's not the tent do the talking. Not in your face, is it? Like other brands. <sighs> it's a bacon. Well, that's why I got the fire going, because I knew you'd want your bacon. Beer con. That's not top of the base. Perfect. Okay.
Ja, wenn ich am Bike bin. See how many slices I can get out of this bread. <laughs> Baking me up. Baking. How much would you like? Mm. Mm. A bit. More. Careful, it's hot. Oh, is it? Don't burn yourself. <laughs> There's been a lot of pork products. <laughs> Pig for dinner. Pig for breakfast. Hmm. A lot of pig has been consumed on this trip. Mm. And there's nothing left of pepper. No. Pepper is gone. Absolute bacon. That's us all done for this trip. Yep. Oh, I'm popping out. <laughs> it's really starting to heat up again now. So yeah, we're gonna hike our way out. But uh, it's been a good one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> a busy one. Yeah, it was quite relaxed once the old pig was cooked. <laughs> or cook in. Uh, oh, right, well, check out Mark's version of events over on his channel and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>